this is the first time you guys are hearing this. Whenever we are about to get something good for us, someone sabotages us. I don't understand why they're doing this. I was kind of like down. They are as smart as fuck. That's what I hate about them. <laughs> Today we are at Ninoy Aquino Wildlife Park and Recreation Recreation Center. <laughs> no, Wayland. <laughs> Ninoy Aquino Parks and Wildlife Center. I know there was center somewhere. Woo! <laughs> so Terrible. What are, are we doing here? <laughs> Ay, there's a lake over there. Yeah, that's the lagoon. Oh my God, let's go there. So what are we doing here today? We have, uh, we are doing the video that you guys requested, the five things we don't like about the Philippines. What? For real? You said that we're not gonna do the video and that we're gonna do the things that we... Well, if this is what you guys wanna see, this is what you guys are gonna get. But instead of 10 things, it's only five because we really tried finding stuff we don't like. Look, and it's not even five because number one is debatable. Yeah, it number depends where you go. <laughs> number two is eh, it's true. Oh my god, it's like not like three. the most things that we dislike. Like whoa, really? Like I don't know. I think there's only one item of that list that I can really say like wow, this is truly affecting me. I don't feel then affected. the rest is like ah. Eh, well, in my case, we, we made a list of five items. But really, like, in my case, I only feel like the last three or two items are the one that I really feel affected by. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so, anyways, it, it, it's because we, we only have been here for six months, guys. So, there's not much to hate yet. <laughs> <laughs> sorry that we are not full of hate. Sorry, sorry. There's <laughs> only a few things we can talk about. Oy, oh, this is beautiful. It Let me show you what Sol is talking about. It has these leaves that float in the water. Ah. We can go closer. Sure. Later, later. O te quieres sentar ahí de un, un rato. I want to sit down a bit and ah. talk about the things that we quote and quote. Quote and quote. Number one. Number one is hippies. hippies. Now, <laughs> it's so unfair to blame the whole Philippines for hippies because it's true. there's hippies everywhere. That's why I'm saying like, really, it's, it's not fair. But I have to say about hippies here in the Philippines is that they are smart as fuck. That's what I hate about them. Because <laughs> in another country, hippies are dumb. No, hippies here are very intelligent. You know what they do? Like when you grab the chancla, they are about to kill them. They go to the corner of the wall. So when you hit them with the chancla, the chancla don't hit them because it's in a corner. So it's very difficult to angle the chancla to hit the, the, the hippies. But if, even if you hit them, <laughs> they play dead. And then you realize that they are not really dead. Yes. When you are about to grab them and you see that they move. This morning I killed one that was playing dead. It was like a flip. Uh, to the to the back side like this and it was like okay oh another dead roach because we're having a roach infestation infestation oh, at home and we put uh, some powder that is helping us kill the roach and i thought that that roach was dead because <laughs> it was close to the powder and then i went to the bathroom and, and i came back i noticed that the roach was in a different place <laughs> but it was still with a leg like this, you know, like like this, flip upside down. So I I stayed there looking for a long time, and then I saw that she was moving the, the little legs, and I'm like, that bitch is yes. alive. And then the chancla killed. She the was actress pagada. Yes, she was a paid actress. The chancla <laughs> killed her. 
and finally I could dispose them. But in all fairness, <laughs> I think it's because this country is so big, the population of hippies here is much, much bigger <laughs> okay. than in our country. Because if you realize, when we were living in that condo, the last condo we lived in DR, mm -hmm. how many rushes did you see in the three years you spent living there? I don't know, I didn't count them, but I saw roaches. Yeah, but how many? I saw I around know. three or four roaches in three years. And here, you see roaches every day. Ahora bien, let me aclarar something. In Bulacan, when we went to Bulacan, there was no roaches. But when we went to, uh, like here in Quezon City, in Timok Avenue, oh my God. Oh my God, in Timok Avenue. We saw groups of like 20 roaches together, together in front of walking towards us. That's nightmare inducing shit. <laughs> Like what? The f I had nightmares, yes, similar the thing nightmares is like this. That we have phobia to roaches. In <laughs> yes. case you don't know, we are scared of them. It's <laughs> tan tal that if like someone, uh, uh, actually those roaches that we saw in Timo Avenue in front of the discotheque, mm -hmm. in, flo in front of that club, we were going to record a video in case we're gonna use the, uh, say something about roaches here. But, but it happened I so couldn't fast. Move. No, <laughs> I couldn't it, move. It's not that it happened fast. <laughs> I just felt I cannot have roaches in my phone, video, photo. <laughs> no, I cannot. I, even when we are talking about roaches right now, I will not put any illustration of roaches in this video if I'm editing. Because there's no way I'm gonna go and Google that and put a picture of that in here. Absolutely not. So there's that, there's that. It's, you gotta understand we are scared of them and if we see a lot of them, then we feel bad. Yeah. And also, uh, also there's a disclaimer, we live right in front of the garbage disposal in our condo. That's so why the roaches that's have why contaminated we have so our many. Home. We, have, we are seeing so many of them. Maybe where you live, you don't see. When I went to Zamboanga, I didn't... I saw my friend Antonio, remember, ah. <laughs> that they were in the, in the boulevard thingy. Oh, yeah, oh, my God. And I, they, I they, actually and they saw fly. one in our bathroom, too. Yeah, they fly, the Zamboanga so. ones. It's true. <laughs> in, yeah, the ones in Zamboanga are big. <laughs> they are huge. But when we went to Baguio, I didn't see. When we went to Bulacan, I didn't see. When we went to Tagaytay, I didn't see. Uh, where else? When we went to BGC, we didn't see. We didn't see in BGC either. So yeah, I guess it depends. But for now, this is in our list. <laughs> Second item in the list, number next is Filipinos crap mentality. Now, not all Filipinos have crap mentality. You know, I want to break into the entertainment industry here. And there is a group of people who is, who are Filipinos and they are actively working to bring us down. And like whenever we have an opportunity, these people uh, start affecting our opportunity for us to lose it. And it has happened three times already. And I was feeling very down because I was like, I don't understand why they're doing this. Like, I don't understand. I was I was kind of like down, depressed, not depressed, but like down. And then someone mentioned, ah, because Filipinos have crap mentality, they cannot see that a person is succeeding and they like drag them down. And then like, ah, so this is, what is happening to us? <laughs> okay, yes, ah, okay, now, like it clicked. I don't understand why, because like, we are not doing anything wrong to anybody. We are not in competition with anyone. We don't care about competing, <laughs> competing with anyone. Uh, but like, whenever we are about to get something good for us, someone sabotages us. The that thing has is affected that even me. if there's a person or a group of people doing this, we cannot say anything because there's hardly any evidence and also like there's defamation laws here or whatever, like you cannot just slander someone's character without having hard proof or even if you have proof. Yeah, like, but you I'm, have not, to find I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just telling you. No, no, my no. Experience. I'm just 
I'm not telling you not to say anything. I'm telling them. I'm giving them more information about why we ha this is the first time you guys are hearing this. Ah, okay. So anyways, uh, as you guys know, there's a lot of Filipinos that support us. So yes. it's not like everybody, not everybody is against is us. like that. Uh, but there we have encountered a group of people that is exactly like that and we just we don't understand why. But if you have more information on crab mentality, you can tell explain us. In us the comments. Yeah, explain to us. I don't know else. how to fight it. I have even lost the, like at some point I lost the will to like do collapse or to get opportunity with famous people or whatever, because I felt like what's the point if in the end it's not gonna get like the results that I want because I'm being sabotaged, you know so. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. you sound sensitive when you are talking about this. Topic. I am sensitive mm -hmm. because it affected me a lot. Step one, wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood. Number next. Number next is very hard to be friends like real friends with people here i don't think that we should blame the whole philippines for that <laughs> no no but it's been hard for us at i least think in, it's in our experience yeah, i think what we should blame is our status as a foreigner i understand that uh, not all filipinos want to have a close personal relationship or friendship with a foreigner you don't know if they are gonna leave uh, someday and you invested all the time and and cultivating a relationship that is not going anywhere. And also it's our expectations because when we were coming to the Philippines, we said we don't want to be like these bloggers that they just go in the vlogs with a lot of other foreigners and they don't associate with Filipinos. Like we want to be part of Filipinos life and we want to associate with Filipinos. We want to showcase Filipinos in our channel and like we had the mentality that like when we come here we're gonna have a lot of filipino friends and we also had uh, online filipino friends before we came here mm -hmm. but then as soon as we landed here like they are distant yeah yeah so it's been a little bit uh, i felt a little bit alone as a yes. foreigner here uh, because of that and uh, yeah like I understand your motives like maybe because of the language our accent is difficult you don't understand us you, sometimes you want to be your authentic self you want to speak Tagalog you can't because I am not gonna understand you and shit like that so I get it I get it and I already accepted this fact that I'm not gonna have a real friendship genuine close neat friendship here <laughs> so yeah and number next is also related to friendships and is ghosting culture yes in the but Philippines. again we cannot blame the whole philippines i am I'm, I'm obsessed 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 because i tried dating two different filipino guys and they both ghosted me so i cannot blame the whole philippines for two filipino guys who ghosted me <laughs> But again, like, why do they do that? Yeah, you know, yeah. like, they go I have out come with to this you. Conclusion. They, wait, Lang. <laughs> they go out with you, and everything is perfect, everything is great, and you say, like, wow, I can really see something developing here. And then they never talk to you again. You you write, and they never reply back, and, and, and that's it. It was like, is it something I said? Is it something I did? And you, like, you go back and recount the nights and everything was great in your mind, but I, you, you don't know, you never know. What's mm -hmm. your theory? 
Well, my theory is that uh, actually it's because of the non-confrontational culture here. Because like, you know, in our country, we are so used to that if we to don't like something, if we didn't like something, like I hung out with you and I didn't like it and you tried talking to me, I tell you, no, bitch, I'm not going to talk to you because you're fucking toxic. You are triggering my anxiety and depression and I'm going <laughs> to block you from everywhere. I'm sorry, but I need to get away from you. You are so toxic. But here, like you think everything is fine. They don't tell you anything. And then what they do is just, they just ghost you because they will not confront you about it. So uh, that's my theory. So yeah, I think it's because we are too used to people being direct and expressing exactly what they mean to your face. Like, oh, I had a great time, but I didn't like this part. So, so yeah. let's not do that part again. And, like we understand. Exactly. <laughs> and the last one, the, the most, most difficult, difficult is very very hard to be productive in this country yes as an entj myself <laughs> it was very annoying at the beginning like when i had planned to do five things today that depends on other people like uh, going to solve this and this issue like doing this and this errand and then when you realize like the from the five things that you were going to do you only had time to do one yeah. because it depends on other people approving other people approving like it's like bureaucracy like when you want to do something done here like it has to pass around five people to approve and sign and then you will get it you know yeah, so there are some stuff that you need to wait. You simply, ah, oh, no, the wait time for this is one day, three days. You have no control about anything. Yeah. So even if you try to do five things uh, the same day, sometimes it takes the whole day to do only yeah. one of those five things. When we arrived here at first, we thought that we were going to be so productive, like, because we didn't have jobs. Yeah, so, so all our time was going to be directed to do these tasks, right? But sometimes it's absolutely impossible to do it. And also, sometimes you do one thing and stuff, like, to get this, like, for example, uh, we said we're going to the mall to do this one thing. And then when you realize this one thing takes longer than you expected, and when you get out of the mall, it's night time already. Mm -hmm. Where did the time go? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like time here passed so quickly. This change okay. it affected us at the beginning because we are used to getting stuff done like, oh, that's just gonna take you 30 minutes to do this, so you can do this and this and this. Like in our country, like things happen like this. Fast. But then in here, like everybody's so chill, so calm. It's more relaxed. And actually, I I now like that, you know? Yeah. I'm used to, uh, like him has made me relax and, and just enjoy life more. So this is not something that I actually hate about the Philippines. No, <laughs> hate is a strong word. Yeah. This video is not about like, hate. At the beginning, Even I if was... You, if we put hate in the title, it's just for you to click on this. But it's not that we hate this. I am adapted to this already. Yeah, yeah. But at sometimes the beginning, I, was I feel guilty. Sometimes I feel guilty because I feel I'm being lazy. Ah, yes. Sometimes I feel guilty when I'm too chill, too relaxed like that. At the beginning, I was annoyed by that because I couldn't be as productive as I was used to. But now I'm like chill and relaxing. Lo que será, será. If it happens, happens. You know, like. <laughs> I don't mind that as much. So it yeah. is what it is. It is what it is. And that's the five things we don't like about the Philippines. Supposedly. Yeah, <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> supposedly. There's only one thing that least that really affected me, which is crap mentality. And Luna, the ghost I felt, thing. Yeah, I felt thing. hard for the ghost thing. The other stuff, I have accepted it already. I still have a phobia to hippies. I yes. still have a phobia to hippies, but who knows? Maybe the Philippines will be the country that is going to let us like overcome our, our fear. Oh my God. Which is <laughs> uh, it was a founded yeah. fear uh, like after talking to a psychologist in my previous job I realized that we have the f or I have the fear of, of roaches because of religion in my country really? yes when I was five years old there was a group of Christians who went 
to our house and they were like ungiendo la casa. I don't know how to say that in English. They made a ritual on the house for Where you, they were like cleansing sanctify. the house. Yeah. It was a cleanse. So my mom had a lot of um, cuadros, a lot of pictures and paintings about oh, Santa Marta, angels. Santa Marta, Santa whatever. San Miguel. Yeah, all these saints. <laughs> patronos. The Santo Patronos. <laughs> Not the beer, <laughs> but the saints. <laughs> and they were like removing all this this painting and on the one of the painting when they removed it there were two roaches and the roaches started escaping as soon as the painting was removed and one of the ladies of the church said those look are demons. those are demons i remember the, yeah. oh my god there it, is, there it is those are the demons that are running away and they killed them and since then it is engraved in my brain that Roaches are, are bad. Demons, Roaches yeah. are demons. Roaches are a, a, a devil thing, you know? So I know that, the, like, I know the origin of the fear, and still I haven't been able to get over oh this. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional because out of all the things I can remember about my five years old, why do I remember this? <laughs> Yes, I got emotional when I discovered that too. That's why it's good talking to psychologists because they made you understand more like why you behave certain ways, why you have certain fears. So I know where my fear is coming from and still, I know that the roaches are not from the demon. <laughs> roaches are not from the devil, they are not Diablo. But still, I cannot get over the fear that I have to these little insects. Oh, so back it okay? Ah, someone is uh, playing Puede Ba by Lola Amor. Okay. Back there, so I got distracted listening to the music. Okay. Remember, I like the music <laughs> of the film. Anyway, guys. <laughs> That's the video for today. If That's you haven't the watched video. our 10 Things We Like About the Philippines, uh, go ahead and watch it so you can cleanse your soul after watching this video. <laughs> yeah, we don't like negativity. We yeah, don't like negativity just go clean channel. your soul. So, please watch it positively. I feel this video is more like a rant, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I guess, yes. Now I feel like I just ranted and vented. <laughs> I vented, definitely. Vented my feelings to the internet. But let Sorry us know that, which uh, of this list surprised you the most. And what do you think? about everything, you know? Uh, I, your opinion is important to us. So please let us know in the comments. Thank you so much to all our patrons, Belki, Emilio, Val Mike, JT Teodoro, Val Jun, Poggy Pinoy, Fred Gabriel, and David Sanz. Also, huge shout out to our certified and verified soul lunatics, especially Sherry Floor, Janice, Kenny Hugh, Brian Cabosora, Glendian, Eggy, AJ Primicias, Tish21, Yokagi San, Stelberry Jane, Uve Jalilla, Gabe, WB, Roalf, Tita Wen, Sherbon, Luna X Keloke, Don Rotopuso, Emilio Tavera, and Pinoy OFW Adventure. And now watch this, this video. video appears right here. It's recommended by YouTube Sacred Especially, Especially for, for you. you. So click on it right now.